So, oh my goodness. This is probably one of my favorite things about Norway. I, oh, there's so many, there's so many amazing things about Norway. But one of the things I think is just fascinating is the dialects there. So Norwegian, of course, is a very beautiful language. Oh, it is so beautiful. Um, and interestingly, so it actually is Danish, kind of. Well, yeah, there's, there's a whole lot of history there. But basically, Norwegian is, is very close to Danish because it was Danish in the 1800s. Like, Norwegian pretty much was taken from Denmark. Um, but that was more just in the main cities, like Oslo or... Um, I don't know, probably just Oslo, really. I don't know. Um, but there were all these other little places out in the boonies, of course, of Norway, which or you know, kind of like the countryside, and they had dialects. So every, I swear, every neighborhood you go into in Norway has a different dialect. Um, there's so many, uh, and, and they're all influenced by these different factors. So Oslo is kind of the pure dialect. It's what you it's what you learn when you go to Norway, or what usually people learn when they go to Norway. Um, it's called bukmol, and it basically just means it's it's just the written way to say things. It's like the official way to speak Norwegian, and. Um, it's very pretty. It's it, this is the dialect that most people think of when they hear Norwegian because it's the you know very up and down and very emotive, very um, just very proper and very beautiful. Um, and that's kind of like the Oslo dialect and that that area down south. Um, if you want, okay, here's actually kind of a little makeshift map of Norway. Um, so down here we have Oslo, and that's that's like the east coast. And so here in Oslo and the surrounding area, that's more so of the Oslo dialect. But then when you get out to over down here or here or actually just anywhere except for there, you have like entirely different languages. So, so okay, so if you travel down here, down this way at the tip of Norway, um, this is Christian, Christian Sun, and this has a beautiful dialect their R's are different from Oslo and they just say things differently. They have, they have different words for things and it's, it sounds really pretty. It kind of sounds like a cat talking to you, in, in my opinion, yeah. Um, and then if you travel up around this way, you have Stavanger and Bergen and all these other places. Um, and the west coast, which is Stavanger and Bergen and these all all soon oh all soon um, these places have a very dis very distinct dialects uh, Bergen dialect has more they have scarred R's so it's a very harsh R Stavanger is even more so it's a very very harsh R I can't do it but um, it's it sounds really pretty when they're talking and also. Um, they, along this, the west coast, they tend to speak more of what is known as Nynorsk. And Nynorsk is like New Norwegian. So, and that's a whole history by itself. But basically this guy went around Norway and he collected all these different dialects and he decided, hey, we're going to go back to the original Norwegian. And so he made up this language out of all the dialects and that's Nynorsk. And so Stavanger, yeah, so they, Stavanger and Bergen, they're kind of a mix of these different dialects. And of course, when you go out in the fjords, they just get tenfold crazier and they're, they're hard to understand if, if you're an outsider like me coming into this country and learning, you know, Bukmul, right? So Oslo dialect, and then you go over here and you're like, whoa, what are you saying? <laughs> it's, a, it's just a different language. Um, and actually, um, Olesund dialect, that's where I first moved to when I moved to Norway. And Olesund dialect is pretty similar to Bergen, except it has a lot of rolled R's. So, yeah, they just, they're kind of made fun of a little bit for that, I think. I don't know. Um, but it's really pretty. Then we go up to Trondheim. Trondheim. Trondersk. Is that right? Is that how you say it? Trondersk. Trondersk is, um, yeah, they tend to cut their words in half. So they'll leave off the endings of verbs or they'll leave off 
yeah, just the endings of words in general. Um, and they also tend to speak very fast, just very fast. Um, whereas down here in Olusun, they have a very, they kind of talk a little bit slower, like they, they pronounce every, everything in there. Oslo speaks very fast as well, but they're like, kind of like New Yorkers, like they just like, you know, they're busy, they just gotta like talk really fast and stuff. Um, and then Trondershu, they also speak pretty fast and, but it might just sound like that just because half the time you don't understand what you're, they're saying. So it's like, ooh, gotta, okay, slow down there, bud. Like, what, what is that? So yeah, that's Trondershk. And then um, moving up the country, you kind of move into these very special dialects, the Northern Norwegian, which I think is gorgeous. I love that. Um, and they, they have a different um, tunnafall. So tunnafall is actually something, that's what, I'm we're, what we're talking about when we talk about the Norwegian going up and down in their speech pattern, right? Oslo is very much up and down. Um, the west coast is kind of in the middle. Um, Olesund is very monotone, kind of. Um, Trondersk, I can't remember, I think it's pretty, pretty much normal. Um, but then when we go up to northern Norway, they start having this um, opposite tone of fall from, from southern Norway. So they tend to, to talk kind of like cowboys in a way. I don't know. They're, yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're kind of their own um, type of Norwegian. Um, and you kind of, you have, you have to adjust between dialects. You kind of have to tune your ear to them because they're so, there's so many and they're so different. Um, but yeah, so yep, that's dialects in Norway. <laughs> um, and I, yeah, I love that there are so many and that you can hear so many different cultures. Cause even I personally, I think the dialects kind of reflect the culture of each city in a way. Um, and yeah, I think each one is just beautiful in its own way. So, and then you also have um, all these other places on this kind of close to Sweden. And I, I haven't really been over that way, but I've heard that they also speak pretty close to Swedish. They kind of influenced by the little um, rhythms in Swedish and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'd say my personal favorite dialect is Tsurumsa. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And those are just a few of the dialects in Norway.